What's up, mi gente? I'm Laz Alonzo, and I play Terry in My Dad the Bounty Hunter. Daddy? Now, as many of you may know, I'm of Cuban descent, and today I'm sharing some of my favorite parts of my Cuban culture with you. This is Rep Your Flag. So my favorite Cuban dish is a dish called Ropa Vieja. As of lately, it's become very, very popular dish. But growing up, it was one of my favorite dishes because it has a tremendous amount of flavor. The whole thing come together is, oh, it's insane. Favorite Cuban musician is always going to be the queen herself, Celia Cruz. I thought she was part of the family growing up. Like That's how much she was talked about in my home, on our TV sets, played at parties. I thought she was literally related to us. And she's something that I'm extremely proud of being Afro-Cuban. Cuban salsa. Puerto Ricans created the genre salsa in New York, but they got the music from Cubans. Puerto Ricans, don't at me right now. Y'all know what it is, y'all know the history. And I'm a humongous fan of New York, New Yorkian salsa. This ain't no beef. I don't want no smoke because Puerto Ricans do have some of the biggest legends in salsa ever. I have been back to visit Cuba. It was amazing going to the island, meeting relatives that I had always heard of, just smelling the air, tasting the food, feeling the warmth and the energy of the people. It's something that's magical. You know, I pray that one day the situation is such that just like everybody else, we can go home for the holidays, we can go there for the holiday. That would be a dream of mine. I say it, hola. That's probably my favorite. It's like, yo, what up, homie? I root for all Cuban athletes. At one point, it felt like there was a floodgate of Cuban baseball players coming here to the US to the majors. So much talent on the island. There's a boxer by the name of Jordanis Ugas that I'm a big fan of, and he's repping Cuba all the time. And he's also repping the freedom for Cuba. There was a movie growing up called El Super, and I have tried to find that movie on every streaming platform known to man. If you can put El Super on Netflix, I guarantee you every Cuban on the planet will be streaming this. That movie was so beautiful. It was about this immigrant family in New York this Cuban guy who was the super or the maintenance man of this building. And it just magically captured the beauty of just a immigrant family in New York, just stuff that everybody grows up around. Also, growing up in two cultures, because when you grow up in the US, outside of the home, you're not Cuban anymore. Outside of the home, you know, I was a black man in DC, but inside the home, I was Cuban. So. That whole dual culture thing, dual language thing, speaking Spanish at home and speaking English when you leave the home. It's a balance, you know, learning how to juggle both worlds and being embraced in both worlds. Cubans are very superstitious, which means I am very superstitious. There's one that I still definitely live my life by, and that's don't tell anybody what you're working on. Keep it to yourself. You don't want anybody's, like, doubt or fears to cast any bad energy on it. Boca cerrada no entra moca, which is a closed mouth, flies will not come in. Mojito, 100%. I will proudly say that I am one of the best mojito makers living and breathing on the planet. I have been challenged by Cubans from the island. I have yet to lose yet. In a blind taste test, my mojito versus any other, mine will always win. I do guarantee you, if you taste my mojito, you'll love it. You may not make it to number two, though. They're very strong. Shout out to all mi gente from Cuba and all my Latinos from the diaspora. If you're proud of your culture, drop your flag in the comments, and don't forget to check out My Dad the Bounty Hunter, now on Netflix.